Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to our channel, where we're about to unravel a mind-bending tale that's gonna keep you on the edge of your seat. Yep, yeah, you guessed it, we're diving deep into the realm of Kim Jong-un, the big shot over in North Korea. But before we dive in, you know the drill, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you won't miss a beat. Trust me, this is one you won't want to miss. All right, picture this, a secretive nation shrouded in mystery, ruled by a man who's got more titles than you've got sneakers. Kim Jong-un, yeah, the same dude you've seen in the headlines, is not just a leader, he's also the marshal, the big shot of the Central Military Commission, chairman of the State of Affairs Commission, and the ultimate commander-in-chief. But hold on to your hats, because here's the kicker, his net worth could be as high as a jaw-dropping five to six billion dollars. Now, you're probably thinking, how the heck did Kim Jong-un amass that kind of dough? Well, my friends, stick around, cause we're about to spill the beans on how this mysterious leader made a train. And I'm not talking about rainbows and sunshine. Okay, buckle up, cause this is where the plot thickens. The story behind Kim Jong-un's wealth is like a roller coaster ride through the unknown. And here's one theory. Rumor has it that a big chunk of his wealth comes from the North Korean state coffers. Imagine having control over an entire country's resources, the industries, the exports, even the aid from other countries. Some insiders spill the tea that Kim's got a tight grip on those funds, sliding a generous slice right into his pocket. But wait, there's more. Another theory is that North Korea's been dabbling in some seriously shady business on the global stage. Think counterfeiting, drug smuggling, and even cybercrime. Yeah, you heard me right. Word on the street is that Kim Jong-un's regime is knee-deep in these dirty deeds, pocketing those ill-gotten gains like there's no tomorrow. Now, let's pivot and talk about how Kimmy Boy lives the good life. Spoiler alert, it's not exactly a dorm room and instant noodles. We're talking luxury, my friend. We're talking mansions that could make a millionaire drool and cars that would make a NASCAR driver blush. Reports say this dude's got multiple plush homes scattered around North Korea. And get this, some of these houses even have their very own private train stations. Who needs an Uber when you've got a whole train at your disposal, right? And when it comes to cars, let's just say Kim's not carpooling in a beat-up hatchback. We're talking top-tire rides, like flashy Mercedes-Benz and opulent Rolls-Royces. Talk about riding in style. Here's the kicker with all the secrecy surrounding North Korea. It's like trying to solve a puzzle with missing pieces. We can't exactly fact-check these claims, so take him with a grain of salt. The truth might be even wilder than we think, or maybe a bit more down to earth. Now, let's get into the juicy details how do Kim Jong-un splash his cash? Well, it's a mix of extravagance and secrecy. Those luxurious residences we talked about, yeah, they're not just for show. Kim reportedly spends a good chunk of his wealth on maintaining and upgrading his palatial abodes. Think gold-plated everything, and the fanciest of furnishings. And remember those drool-worthy cars. Oh boy, he's got a collection that could rival a Hollywood celebrity. It's not just about the rides, though it's about the prestige. These luxury vehicles are a status symbol, a way for Kim to flaunt his power and wealth. But hold on, we're not done. Kim's got a taste for the finer things in life, from high-end watches that cost more than a house to gourmet delicacies that would make any foodie weak in the knees. He's also known to enjoy lavish parties and entertainment, which, let's face it, doesn't come cheap. However, it's crucial to remember that the information we're getting is filtered through layers of secrecy and propaganda. We're only scratching the surface of what might be a much more complex and intriguing spending pattern. All right, time to take a turn into darker territory. Brace yourselves, 
Cause it's not all glitz and glamour in Kim Jong-un's world. Reports have been pouring in about some seriously disturbing stuff happening under his leadership. We're talking allegations of torture, abductions, and even prison camps. Yeah, it's heavy stuff, and it's earned North Korea more than a few stern looks from the international community. And here's where it gets really complicated. The money made from these, let's call them questionable activities, could be lining Kim Jong-un's pockets. Yep, yeah, you heard me right. The same funds that might be coming from those dark deeds could also be fueling his outrageously lavish lifestyle. Okay, now that we've seen how Kim Jong unrolls, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the impact on North Korea's economy. Here's the thing, while Kim's living it up in style, his country isn't exactly a booming economic powerhouse. The lavish spending of the supreme leader is in stark contrast to the overall struggles faced by his people. North Korea's economy has long been plagued by isolation, sanctions, and a focus on military spending. This means that while Kim might be splurging on luxury goods and parties, the majority of North Koreans continue to face economic hardships, food shortages, and limited access to basic necessities. And what's even more mind-boggling is that a significant portion of the country's resources might be going toward funding Kim's lifestyle rather than addressing the pressing needs of his people. The stark divide between the leader's extravagance and the struggles of his citizens is a glaring reminder of the complex challenges faced by North Korea. So, there you have it, folks. The tale of Kim Jong-un's wealth is like a puzzle that keeps morphing and changing with every piece you find. While we might never pin down the exact sources of his cash flow, one thing's clear it's a story that's captured the world's imagination. But hold on a second. As we wrap up, let's not forget the flip side of this twisted kind, the allegations of human rights violations and those disturbing activities. It's a sobering reminder that no amount of money should ever come at the expense of human suffering. If you're as intrigued by this roller coaster as we are, give that like button a tap and share this video with all your fellow sleuths. And of course, let us know what you think down in the comments. We're all ears. Thanks for sticking with us on this wild ride through the labyrinth of Kim Jong-un's wealth. Until next time, keep your curiosity burning, stay sharp, and keep exploring the stories that make our world one heck of a fascinating place.